Once logged in, you see the Click Desk dashboard. Here you'll see four steps documented to get started. We strongly recommend you read the instructions to make the best use of all the features in the system. Step 1. You see information about adding and managing your support agents. Step 2. You have options to let you choose live chat user interface and colors to suit your website design and theme. Step 3 takes you through steps to get the small HTML code to put into your website to use ClickDesk Live Chat. Step 4 shows you how you can manage your live chat preferences, set up proactive chat, and canned responses. Let's scroll up and start with Step 1, Managing Users. You can see that there are no users added yet. I'm going to go ahead and add our first user, Ross. You can see that adding a nickname does not show your full name to your visitors when you chat with them. Let's also enter Ross's email address to get notified of chat transcripts. There's also an option to add Ross's picture so your visitors can see who they are chatting with. Depending on your choice, you can choose between Gtalk or Skype to take your chat. While chatting with an agent, your visitors can also call and talk directly to that agent, directly from the VoIP phone located on the chat window. If you want to use this option, enter your choice between Skype, Gtalk, or a phone number where you wish to take calls. Let's go ahead and add Ross. Once added, you should be getting ad requests from the following bots to your Gtalk or Skype. Go ahead and add them. This is a very important step. Now that we've added Ross, let's take a look at the user interfaces in Step 2. Let's choose blue for our user interface by simply sliding on the color picker and click Update. When you scroll down, you also have options to choose your chat bubble alignment on your web page. Simply choose and update as you wish. Update status messages to show your visitors when you are online or offline. There are also options available to add a chat button to your website similarly. Enter your Twitter or Facebook links for your visitors to see them on the live chat window. This will allow them to follow you on Twitter and Facebook. Now, we will look at Step 3 to assign users to departments and embed the code on a website to see it live. Simply add a department name like Sales, Support, or as you would prefer, and add the agent to the department. Let's add Sales and assign Ross to that department. You can see that a code has been assigned. Simply click on the Test and HTML to view and copy the code that needs to be added in your web pages. I've now copied it and it's ready to be pasted into my pages. Please note that the code has to be pasted before the closing body tag for it to work. Let's look at our website and see if the chat function has been added. You can now see that live chat is now added on the website. For more information, please log on to